Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm. Today I'm going to continue with Steve Reeves' series on developing the different body parts. Today is Developing Broad Shoulders, written in Your Physique magazine in 1948. Let's get straight into it. So this particular series of articles written by Steve Reeves was written right after he won the Mr. America competition in 1947. As I mentioned earlier, um, this particular article was written in Your Physique issue August from 1948. Here is Norman Marks, another very aesthetic physique from back in the day with that wonderful V taper look. Steve's tips for developing broad shoulders. Uh, well, there's actually quite a, a, a few things that Steve has to say about developing broad shoulders. The reason is the most important. It, it portrays, according to Steve, it portrays strength and vigor and vitality. It makes you look more like a man. Actually, as he puts it, it makes you more like a superman. Um, if, I, if I actually read uh, one of the paragraphs from the article uh, that Steve wrote, you'll, you'll understand actually what he means. Men as well as women admire a person with broad shoulders. You readers can observe this yourselves at any time you're at the beach, swimming pool, or any other place where folks are attired in swimming trunks. Who is it that gets most attention? The admiring glances from both sexes. Who is it that is most popular? The fellow with the narrow, undeveloped shoulders? The fat boy with his hip measurements larger than that of his shoulders? Of course not. If you will find it is the fellows with the broad shoulders and trim waistline. And isn't he absolutely right? I mean, if you saw a person looking like Steve, uh, Steve's, Steve Reeves in, in this photo with this fantastic physique, I mean, wouldn't you just stop for a moment and admire? I mean, look at that. It is, it is iconic. It is beautiful. It is appealing, as he always says, that those broad shoulders the wide lats, the trim waist, sweeping legs and, and fantastic calves, strong muscular ve uh, venous arms, and that poison posture. I mean, that is the look, as he puts it, of vigor, strength and vitality. You look like a man. It is very masculine. I mean, it is no wonder, as he says in the, in the article, that men's suits, back in those days especially, were padded because it gave the wearer of the suit an artificial width of in, in his shoulders and in turn it made the waist look smaller and this was also common for women's clothing to wear padding have you ever heard of shoulder pads it's basically like smacking on some deltoid muscle basically and it gives that appealing V taper uh, now let's have a look at what else he says he actually claims in the article that you can add six inches of width I've been asked this by a couple of of people already and let's see how he actually uh, came up with these six inches. Well, firstly, Steve talks about the development of the deltoid, which is most important, and that is the musculature itself. He reckons you can add three to four inches, and that is basically two inches of muscle to each shoulder cap, right? Of muscle. So we got four inches there already. Rib cage expansion. I've actually mentioned uh, rib, rib cage expansion in developing the chest by Steve Reeves, which I will link up here. And in that particular article, Steve Reeves talks about the fact that you can actually, through deep breathing during 20 rep squats, as well as using flies, uh, and, and just basically deep breathing in general, and, and, and performing, um, what's I'm gonna call it? Uh, yeah, performing uh, flies and Oh God, uh, what's the exercise after after um, squatting um, with the dumbbell? Oh my Lord, I can't believe uh, cross bench, cross bench um, pullovers, correct. Top, uh, cross bench pullovers that you can actually add two inches, two inches, even up to three inches in your rib cage. Together, this already adds up to six, even up to seven inches of width. So I, I believe that Steve Reeves is, co is correct. Along with this, stretching and enlarging the tendons and ligaments between the, the, the scapula and the humerus, 
by dislocating exercises. This is this mainly, I'm, I'm pretty sure by dislocating exercises, he's talking about the ability to move your scapula in and out. And this can be done using dumbbells on gymnastic rings or th simply through stretching, right? So it is not that difficult to, to actually have mobility in your scapula. Now the exercises that Steve recommends for delt strength, I know you're not going to believe me. Remember, this article was written in 1948, early on in Steve's career, but he does recommend Olympic weight lifting once again. Here, um, here in this article, he recommends the snatch, the press and heavy cleaning. Now I know these contribute to trap development to a certain degree. But this is for developing strength. So if you did this in low volume, you wouldn't necessarily put on too much muscle and you would probably develop quite a lot of strength. And if you don't believe that Steve used to do this, just look at the picture yourself. He's, he's obviously cleaned the barbell up to his shoulders and he's pressing it overhead. So Steve probably did Olympic weightlifting early on in his career. And maybe later on in his career, he thought that it wasn't um, that it wasn't ideal because it develops the traps, but there he is doing it. So he does recommend it for shaping the particular the actual deltoid muscle and putting on muscle on, on especially on the outer heads on on the outer heads on on the lateral heads that is um, as well as on the rear. He recommends all kinds of straight arm exercises such as lateral raises rear uh, delt raises and front raises, crucifix, etc, etc. He, he is using kettlebells performing these exercises. And I guess having these, having developed the strength and the shape in your deltoids, this will contribute to that wonderful V taper. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Here is Steve in what I believe is my most favorite photo of Steve, looking like a Greek god, those wonderful uh, sweeping thighs, diamond shaped calves, muscular arms, raised overhead victoriously with a sword, like he's just conquered the world. Look at that, wide, wide lats and a trim waist and he's just looking off into the sun. Yeah, like he's about to meet God himself. I mean, looks phenomenal. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.